Hi students, welcome back. So now let's see another program. The program to convert the string into byte array. String to byte array. So let's take a new class. New class. So the class name should be the source folder is I'm taking a code Java. Okay. The package is a default package. That is the core Java. So coming to the name. So the class name I'm giving is a string to byte. String into byte, right? So let's take a string to byte array. String to byte array. So each word, uh, the starting letter should be the capital letter in the uh, of the class name. String to byte array. Okay. So public static void main, it has to be create. So finish. Uh, see here. So now the public class string to byte array, uh, the class is loaded, uh, open brace executed, the main method is called. So now in the main method, our main motto is string into byte. So first declare the string, create a string object. String S is equal to, let me take uh, all about CSIT, all about CSIT. So this is my string. Okay. A string S is equal to all about CSIT. Now, what I have to do? A string into byte array. So, byte array. A byte array. B, B is a uh, reference. So, take the string S dot. A method is default method will be present. So, what that we have to get the bytes. The method that we have to see here. Whenever I mention the S dot by default, these are all the methods that appear. Means what you can insert. Okay. So, by default in the IDE, it will appear. So, I want to convert the string into byte. So, let's take get bytes. Okay. Get bytes. So, the get bytes. Okay. So, S dot get bytes, the each byte will be stored in a byte array, okay, with the reference B. So I have to print each uh, each letter in the separate. So with the byte references, so B is going to store each and every like. So you have to take the for loop. So I'm taking the enhanced for loop here. Enhanced for loop. For byte, take one variable, C, B. So whatever the object reference, the byte, uh, byte reference B is, B is there. So that B will be, uh, each location is going to be copied into the C. That has to be printed. So now print. System dot out dot print ln. Okay, C. So this is what the program is. So what I have done here, what I have done here. So nothing, uh, let me explain you. So first is string to byte, a class is loaded, open press executed, main method call. Whenever the main method call, a string S is equal to all about CSIT. Means what is this? So it's nothing but it is an object. It is an object, okay, of string class. Of which class? Of string class. It's an object of string class. So it is an object of a string class. So that will be stored in S. So now it is going to S dot get bytes. So whenever the S dot get bytes, that will be uh, in a converted into array of each location. So this is a for loop. So a for loop, each location, C of 0, C of 1, C of 2. So means here, whatever the B is there, that will be copied into the C. So in whatever the message that it is there, that is going to be printed. So A, A is converted into a uh, byte. Okay. And B is, uh, L is converted into byte and L is converted into byte. So let's try to execute and check what will be the output is. First save the program. So then right click. Run as Java application. So which program? That is byte to string, right? Sorry, string to byte. String to byte array. We are converting string to byte array. Okay. So see here. So each letter, whatever it is there. So A, the capital letter A is converted into the byte 65. L is 108. L is 108. Next. 
again a is 65 small b capital a is 65 small b is equal to 98 okay o triple one small these are all the small letters again here the capital letters c is 67 and s is 83 and i is 73 and t is 84 capital letters so this is a program of how to convert the string to byte array so now let's take string into character array string into character array so how to do so simply again new class browse so what it is Let me take here okay source okay and by default this is core java so what is the class name the class name this time is string to character so now we had done string to byte whatever the each letter is there that is printed into a byte if i i take i had taken the for loop enhanced for loop so now string to character so string to character so let's take the string string S is equal to, I'm taking the string all about CSIT. It's my string. Now, take the character. Previously, what I had taken, byte. Now, you take the character. Char, CH is equal to, take S dot. What I have to do? See here, whenever I mention S dot, this time, I want to convert into string to character. So, by default, two char array is appearing here. So, whatever the method you can, you can take. In the previously, two get byte is appeared, for, but two char. So, that is what I am saying. So, if you use the IDE, by default, the methods will be appeared itself. So, it's better to run these type of programs also in the notepad. Then, you will get habituated of calling the methods. Okay? So, two char. Now, what I had to do? I am taking the for loop. I had to take each character and print character ch2 is equal to colon ch okay so the for loop system dot out dot print ln so what is that ch2 has to be print okay so this is the program of i have taken the string and I stored in a character of array location. Each character, uh, each literal is storing in CH. Okay. That is going to be pre, uh, copied into CH2. So, I had taken the for loop. Each letter is going to be printed. Print ln. So, in the separate line, it is printing. A is one line and L is next line and L is next line. Like that, it has to print. Okay. Save the program. Right click. Run as. Java application. So, what is this program? My program is string to character, right? Okay. See here in the below output, A separate line, L separate line, L, A, B, O, U, T, C, S, I, T. Everything is printed in a separate line. Okay. So, see here. This is the output all about C, S, I, T. I have taken the print LN. So, that's why it has printed in separate line. If you take print, Let's see what will happen. Print. Save. Right click. Run as. Java application. String to. Uh, this is string to character. See here. It has printed in the single line. In the single line. If I take in the print ln. Each letter will be printed in separate line. But I, I, I have taken only system dot out dot print. So, all letters are printed in the same line. So, I hope you understand students. Still, if you are facing any doubts, please let me know. Thank you.